today on Living Hakuna. We have a Sharky next to us, so we're gonna go swimming with him. Oh my god, this is incredible! Oh god, so how do you make the... the what's it called? Apanao. Apanao! I'm Andrea, that's Alejo, and those are our pairs, Ozzy and Echo. We left the corporate world in Miami to become digital nomads and chase the wind kiteboarding. Join us as we sail an adventure in our dream home, Hakuna. What's up, husband? So, so. What you doing? Woo! So our winches are being kind of iffy and weird, right? Baby, what's wrong with them? Why know. do they sound like that when you try to... I think they need grease and cleaning. And yeah, so we're gonna clean them, put them back together. Okay. Yeah. Isn't the water beautiful here? It's just so perfect. I think I'm gonna go kiting. Wait, does my hair look bad? It probably does. Okay, that's better, right? I don't know. So yeah, the water is so beautiful here, it's so amazing. And it's a little windy. Let's see how windy it is right now. Oh. Let's see. Hot. Woo. Okay, so we have 13 knots of wind, people. 13.8. That's more than enough for my foil. So I can go foiling with the 10 or with the 8. Either way, it still would work out. Ha, huh, look at my bear here. Hi, Yoshida. Oh, hola. Oh, hola. <laughs> oh, hola, chocolate. Oh, hola, chocolate. <laughs> I don't want to get all that grease. Yeah, that's true. I'm freaking. Baby, so why do you think the winches are like that? Because it needs Please ignore here. all our dirty trash here. It's really bad. We haven't been able to dump our trash in like three weeks. Because um, why? What? Why are the winches like that? Because they need some grease. Both of them? Yeah. Oh. They got some salt. We're gonna clean them. Yeah, they're, the on them. they're squeaking every time we move them.
want you away from me I need you to stay right there I'm coming right away, my dear I tried this, tried that, tried everything Coming right back, right back Want you away from me I need you to stay right there How was it? Two really big sharks and a big stingray Under the boat. And then there was the singer. So, yeah. Did you guys see them? Really big shark. And then the other one just came out of nowhere. And did you see a stingray? It was really cute too. They're all like under the boat. So, yeah, it's nice. And a bunch of fishies around. I don't know what is it with our dinghy. Like, the sharks are always like. Yesterday that we there was another shark and they're just around the dinghy. Look at him. Right there. He's just all around the dinghy. That one's really big. I don't know if that's the same one that I was in the water with or the second one that came around. Let me see if the other one's still there. Oh nope, the other one's still there. Right under the boat. Yep, we got two sharks. One here and then another one here. Crazy. How are you doing here? I'm almost done. Yeah? yeah? So what have you done so far? Tell me. So I took, I took it apart the whole winch. Okay. Cleaned it because it had like grease with hair, with dog hair, with like sand and so Okay. So it was pretty bad. Okay. So I cleaned them. Alright. And now I'm putting grease on the bearings. Winch grease. And you're gonna do the other one now? Yeah, we're gonna take this one. Perfect, babe. You're really good. So weird. Echo can see them or feel them or something. This is a really odd thing. Can you see the shark right there? And Echo just staring. And then she can feel the other shark. It's right there. Yeah. And the other one's here, baby. The other one's right there. I don't know if you can see them because you can see the shadow of the boat. It's just so odd, we're so surrounded. And they're always around the dinghy, that's the weird thing. The other one just keeps surrounding the dinghy. The weirdest thing. Oh, it's so weird. Okay, so if you guys didn't know, got a third shark? Are you freaking kidding me? There's a third shark? What the heck? What, dude, what are we doing? Like, we're not even giving out food or anything like that. What is wrong? I mean, I love it, but why do we have so many animals around us? Like a stingray, sharks. Like we're not even got any food. We're not even throwing any fish to the water. It's crazy, I don't understand. Anyway, I want to share with you guys that there's so many sharks killed every single year for their fins. And this, these fins are being sold everywhere around the world, not just Asia. Obviously, most majority of the consumption of shark fins is in Asia, but I just want to invite you guys not to support this kind of, you know, this product. Don't order it in a restaurant because this all adds up to the number of sharks that are being killed each year for their fins. So sometimes they even throw them alive in the ocean. Like they just cut their fins off and just throw them up like alive in the ocean, which is not cool at all. So yeah, these guys are like beautiful. They're incredible creatures. They're amazing. And we need them to survive. We need them to just protect our oceans. We need they're, they're crucial to our ecosystem. Like if we don't have them, we probably won't survive if there's no sharks out there. So yeah, just wanted to invite you guys to think about it and just to not buy into the whole fear of sharks, into the whole thing of jaws and sharks going to eat you and kill you. Like, you know, that's not really how it goes. Baby, where'd you learn to fix all this stuff? 
called YouTube. YouTube? Yes. So you didn't know how to do any of this? No. Oh. I watched the video. Okay. And then yeah. You do it. But you like doing this kind of stuff? Yes. Have you always liked it? I think so. Yeah. I like taking things apart. Do you like putting them back together? If they work, yes. If they don't work, no. <laughs> Day number 300 at sea. We're lost. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. So yeah, we're here at Mayor's Anchorage, where the pig, pig bitch is. And we're going to Thunderbolt Grotto, which is the cave. Thunderbolt what? Grotto. Grotto. Grotto? Thunderbolt. <laughs> So yeah, so we're going to the cave in about 40 minutes when it's slack tide so we can go inside the, the cave and we're gonna go at high tide so we can dive and go in the cave because when it's low tide you don't have to dive to go in, you can just swim. Toma! Todo este vaso? Yeah, let me drink another one. Okay, Gonna drink some food. About the whole cup. And I don't know, these things don't taste that that good, but I'm just eating just to because I'm hungry. So thank you, Natalia, for leaving this on the boat. <laughs> we're officially out of food. Yes. So we're eating whatever we find in the boat. I gotta keep fishing to see if I get another fish. By the way, guys. I cut Alejo's hair this morning. He wanted a mohawk, and look how good I made him look. Hold on. Steady. Oh! How do you feel? How do you feel about your mohawk? Very impressive. <laughs> what do you mean, very impressive? Thunderbolt Grotto. Grotto. Thunderbolt Grotto. Okay, so where do we go in? Love it. Where's the entrance?
Arriba. Hola, niña. ¿Cómo estás, baby? It was incredible. It was truly incredible. Like, yeah, it definitely was easily. Would you say that's the best spot we've been to? Yeah, I think that's the I think so. Spot. That's the number one spot that we've been to. It was incredible. Honestly, the cave was beautiful. Then we saw turtles. Then we saw two sharks, like a baby shark and a shark. Baby, how'd you feel about seeing the shark? At first, I saw a baby shark. I wasn't too afraid. I told Andrea, like, oh, there's a shark. Like, shark. <laughs> and then I see a big shadow coming in the background. Like, please let me be the same kind of shark. <laughs> and yeah. then you could, I turned around and I saw him here in my corner. He was like, yeah, if the shark's gonna eat someone, have her first. And then, not, not him. So, you can see the guy who's gonna be protecting me against the big, tough sharks, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then we saw the little turtle and we were trying to like take footage of the turtle and swim next to her because it was baby so I wasn't too like nervous like the other ones but oh my god we got caught in the middle of a current it was crazy it was like that's the worst current that I've ever had to swim in my life yeah. what about you yeah, it was sure. so hard we were struggling so much to get back on the dinghy that we're, we were so we were we were going to go back again in the cave and then go around again but after we had that current we're like <gasps> just trying to survive because it was so hard but yeah it was awesome one of the best spots ever so beautiful so guys we're gonna make the, the rest guys. the rest of the fish so we're gonna do some breadcrumbs like little chunks of fish and then we have a filet filet fish filet with french fries with and rice with some french fries and rice so how do you make the the what's it called apanao apanao fish apanao como se dice en inglés apanao uh i don't really know how do you say this? oh breadcrumbs breadcrumbs get it like Fish with breadcrumbs. So how do you make it, baby? Can you tell us? Yes, I'm gonna show you. Show us. And on your left hand side, on your right hand side, we have some french fries. I am a human that is addicted to french fries. I love french fries. I could never buy french fries because I would eat them all. So I'm having the this one and Alejo is having all of this ones because I don't really want breadcrumbs because I'm already having Baby, who taught you how to cook? I did, right? No. <laughs> Take the fish. Put in some flour. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. Bla. Cover it well in flour. Okay. And then, come to the egg. Dip it in the egg. Yes. And then breadcrumbs. Dip it on the breadcrumbs. Yes. Marvelous! Who taught you how to do that? You're welcome for teaching you how to cook. <laughs> Baby, who told you how to cook? Okay. Why? Because they're chefs? Yes, they're chefs. Chefs from Cotton Blue? Cotton Blue. Cotton Blue chefs. Yes. Nice. My parents barely know how to make eggs. No, yes, your parents are chefs from. <laughs> Baby, watch what you're gonna say because they're gonna watch this. So I don't know what to tell you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, so how's your fish looking? I don't know. I'm nervous. Why? Hopefully, they'll be really crunchy. Yeah. What do you want? It's good. We have our fries. We have rice with turmeric, and we also have my fish, which is fillet. Uh, and it's still, I like it crunchy, so I'm just going to wait a little bit more. No, I think it's still missing a little bit more. Yeah. Some crunchy calamari. Crunchy fishy. Baby, that looks really good. Man, that's a lot of fish. That's a lot of fish. Ready? A lot, a lot of fish. That's for like two people plus your big ass fillet. Fillet day. Okay. Okay. So we have Alejo's fish, we have 
my fish and Alejo's rice and we have a lot of sauces because we love sauces, right? I think this is where we leave you guys, right? Yes. Because I think we're going to have a lot of food. Before we let you guys go, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell to get notified when we upload new videos. Don't forget to let us know in the comments below your thoughts. Did you enjoy watching this video? What was your favorite part? That being said, we want to thank you all so much for watching and we hope to see you on the next video. Peace!